Well, hi, I'm Philip. I wanted to show you another quick intro into Kibana. So we have seen some UIs in the past and how to work with the data. Um, the discover view is probably the most common starting point to see your data. And I have a healthily sized cluster here. Um, Filebeat is collecting a lot of logs. You can see in the last 15 minutes, we have collected uh, 400,000 um, log entries. Um, you can open one of these up here. Um, and then you see a very hard to read list. You can switch this to JSON to make it a bit more readable, or maybe on the table view, um, you could then pull out one specific field um, to make this a bit more readable. Um, let's say um, we want to see the event module only, um, and I only want to toggle this one here to see it better. Um, but this is still not like the ideal view to work with logs. Um, so now you can see, okay, this timestamp and this event data set, and maybe you want to drill down in the event data set. You have all of those here on the left-hand side. Uh, the event um, module, for example, that I want to filter on, let's say I'm only interested in Nginx, and then I will have a subset, but none of this is really great to work with logs. So how can we make this better. Um, in or quite a while ago, Elastic created or in Kibana, we have more curated UIs for working with, for example, logs and metrics. Generally, everything we group under observability has its own uh, UI point. Um, I will only focus on logs and metrics today because APM and health checks are maybe going a bit off board here. Um, but you can see on the menu on the left hand side, um, let's start with the overview just to have like a more curated view for logs and metrics and what we have in observability in general. So you don't have to stick to discover or always build your own dashboards and visualization um, to see your data. So here we can already see, since this is kind of like a curated view, how many logs have we collected here per time frame? What are the data sources? Um, obviously, Postgres is very chatty here, um, but we could then filter down just to Nginx. And in the metrics, you can see here on our setup, we are monitoring 43 hosts, and you can see how we're doing in CPU, memory, um, and traffic. If we can actually jump into that, this is now the metrics view. Um, that is like the curated view. Um, to um, show us over all the hosts and give it a moment because it needs to aggregate over 43 hosts um, what we have here. Um, you can break that down into different views. So for example, since this is heavily based on Kubernetes, I can filter down to the Kubernetes pods. Um, you could sort it by name. Um, I can switch it from the CPU usage, for example, to the memory usage um, just to see on all my pods how they are doing. And then I could again group them um, into, for example, the namespace that we're using on Kubernetes. And if I had picked on, instead of Kubernetes, if I had picked cloud provider, um, I could see like the availability zones for cloud providers. So this is just a curated view um, to make the most of your data. And then for example, here, I'll just pick this, let's say, this instance, because this might be interesting. And then I can click into metrics. You could provide or create a lot of these UIs in a custom dashboard, but it still wouldn't be as much of a curated view to step through that. Um, so this one gives me a quick overview of what even do I have running here? How is that specific pod doing in terms of resources? And it has nice visualizations showing me that. Um, we could, for example, um, pick a time frame and filter down into that one um, just to work and see how that one is this time frame was going. Um, so this is a good overview just to drill down and get an overview of how that system is behaving and we can fold it in to get a bit of a larger view. Now, going back two steps, um, when we were looking at that, or actually let me go forward one more. Um, when we were looking at the different pods or hosts that we have, um, not just the metrics are integrated into that view, um, but we could um, also pick, for example, the logs for one specific one of them. So once I have all my dozens and hundreds of pods showing up, come on, you have just been working. Yes, my 187, uh, one of those. Um, 
besides just clicking on the metrics, um, we could also go for logs, for example. And this will take me to the logs UI. This one will make working with logs a lot simpler. Um, and that was an unfortunate one, or maybe my filter down here um, in that combination doesn't show anything. So let me remove that. Um, and let's see what we get here. So you can see, this is the time frame that we're looking at now. Um, we can get all the logs and we can also live stream. Live streaming is pretty much like tail F um, to see just the live logs as they are coming in. Um, at, and I let this run and you can see uh, 1750, 36 um, was the last log that we had. And while I'm talking, there will be more logs being indexed in the background. And you can see Postgres is very chatty and we have more of this here. Um, just to show you the, the settings, because this is sometimes a bit confusing, um, what we have here when you head over to the settings, um, what they give you is um, you can pick the index patterns from the logs that you want to show here. So these are the defaults um, and you can just or adjust them as needed. Um, you can also customize which fields to show you and in what order. But I'll also stick to that order. So we have the timestamp, the field that from that event data set, and the actual message that we want to show. And for example, um, I might filter down to the event module again here. So event.module. If my browser manages to screen share and actually do something in parallel. Come on, browser. Um, so then here we can actually pick event dot um, There we can pick nginx. Let me make that slightly smaller because right now it's very hard to read. Module and the one I'm interested in is nginx. And obviously you should not mistype module like me, uh, but do it like this. Then you will get all the logs just from Nginx. So this is really a nicely curated view. And then uh, in this one here, um, for example, you can still search and highlight um, what you might be interested in in particular. So for example, I'm interested in mod security because I know we have mod security running here and it's checking the traffic for weird attack patterns. Um, and it should show you whatever is happening with mod security. So this is giving you a much more curated view rather than discover, which is just very generic and works for any kind of data. Logs UI and metrics UI have just been custom built for your logs and metrics to give you a, a nicer way to interact with that, including things like live streaming, showing you which hosts and pods you have, diving into that data to make the most out of that. So if you have an observability use case, um, those might become your new best friends to actually stay on top of all the data that you're throwing in. Discovery is still useful, but not as curated and targeted as these UIs. So that's it for today. Thanks for joining and see you tomorrow again with another one of our colleagues. Bye everyone.